Jeff Reedy stood in line for 12 hours to make history. Is one of the first to buy recreational marijuana in the Buckeye State. It's an exciting moment for a lot of the advocates who have been working on this issue for a really long time. Yana Hirdanova estimates the money coming into the state after only four years will be upward of $200 million. We estimated anywhere between $270 million to about $400 million uh, a year uh, in the fifth year of operation. She expects to hit that number as the industry continues to grow. This year is going to be a little different because obviously we have the dual uh, use dispensaries coming online, but there will be uh, another probably 100 or so dispensaries coming online throughout the year. Hirdanova says that money is coming from three taxes on all recreational marijuana sales, a state and local sales tax and an additional 10 percent tax. She says local governments keep the revenue from the local sales tax and get a portion of the 10 percent tax. The rest will go to the state's general fund, supporting a variety of programs, including substance abuse treatment. It's probably going to be up to the local community how they want to spend the money, you know, whether it's toward public safety, whether it's toward schools, whether it's toward infrastructure. Here Nova says that means millions are staying in communities for all those projects. She says Ohio's got an edge being the only state in the tri-state with this program. The first movers get an economic advantage, of course. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.